Well, Mark Chamberlain, opportunity to change your life. My definitely. Friend. Yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to it. Put the work in. Uh, just got to perform on the night now. How, how did this come about? Uh, it was quite a, a random one, to be honest, because um, obviously I last boxed in November. Um, and then I had a little meeting with Frank, I think it was just before Christmas. Mm. And um, we were set to be fighting in April. And uh, as far as I was aware, it was then. So I had a little holiday, a little chill out. And then, um, yeah, basically um, got a phone call asking uh, if I wanted to fight. And I was like, yeah, no problem. Um, I was actually out for a works do. This was before Christmas um, on a, just like a meal. And uh, I was on my way home and Frank rung me. It was like half past nine. And um, I believe they was out in Saudi at the time when they had the show on the 23rd of right, December, yeah, the I think. Day of reckoning, yeah. So I thought, he's ringing me at 9.30. They're like three or four hours ahead. So what's going on? Like, who's talking about me? And um, yeah, Frank rang me. He said, Mark, I've got an opportunity here. I'll let His Excellency tell you. And he, he put me on the phone. And um, yeah, he just, I couldn't believe it. He just said, Mark, do you want to fight on the uh, 8th of March in Riyadh? I said, yeah, no problem. Sign me up. And uh, it sort of went from then, really. So, yeah. What, what fight do you think he's seen of you where he's fought? I like this guy. I don't know. Um, like I say, they, they was out in Riyadh at the time, obviously talking about me. I think um, Turk, Turk was like, I like Chamberlain. And I think Frank didn't quite click. He was like, well, I managed Chamberlain. This could be made quite easily. And then obviously they've made the phone call and they realised that they were talking about me. So, yeah. It's pretty good going. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, mate, mate, look, maybe it was that last fight, your, your fight with Artem Ramlabs, where actually it was a bit of a blood and guts war at times, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it would have been that, because obviously like, my performance wasn't great. Obviously, everyone has an off night. Obviously, but I got, you I got the win. in the last round. Yeah, I got the win, and then the stoppage was like the cherry on top as such, yeah, if you yeah. want to say. Um, but yeah, we made a, a, a few mistakes in that fight, made it more scrappy and hard work than what it should have been. But the main thing was we got the win, mm -hmm. and obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm turning head somewhere along the line, so I've just got to keep doing what I'm doing. Well, let, you, you say to yourself, you made a few mistakes in that fight. You've got Gavin Gwynn on Friday night, very seasoned guy, former British champion, Commonwealth, he's the European champion now. If you make those same mistakes you made in your last fight, how, how are you going to get on? Yeah, I mean, if I make them mistakes, it's going to cost me the fight. It's as simple as that. So we uh, went back to the drawing board in the gym and um, been working on loads of things. And I'm pretty certain that we'll get the job done on Friday night. What, what do you think of him? Gavin? Mm. Yeah, I've got nothing bad to say about him. He's, as far as I'm aware, he's, he, he hasn't said nothing bad about me. Do you know what I mean? I respect every fighter that gets in the ring. Obviously, he's a, he's a good fighter as well with what he's won. He, he hasn't done it the easy way. He's had a, had a few hard fights. Um, but yeah, I believe my time is now. Is it about that? Because you're, you're eight years younger than him. Like, actually, he's going to be 34 very soon as well. Is this just a case of timing? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, obviously age is just a number. I mean, he's not old, is he? But he, he's, like I say, 34 soon, I'm 25. So me being younger, hungrier maybe, um, who knows? Just got to turn up on the night and uh, get the job done. What did you think of his last fight against the, the, the 47-year-old, by the way, remarkable uh, Emiliano Marsili? Uh, like I said in a few interviews, like, I, I don't go off his last performance because everyone has an off night. Like I just said, my, my, my last performance wasn't the best. Um, but I truly believe if he was in there with me on that night, and when he got clipped in the second round and his legs went, I, I would have just jumped on him. Um, and I probably wouldn't have seen it going past then onwards sort of thing. But I think he sort of let, let Gwyn re recoup. And um, yeah, he got the job done. I don't think if it was for the, was it the shoulder that went? Yeah. I think yeah. he was getting beat yeah. up until then. Uh, but like I say, he can't go on uh, his last performance because he's had some cracking performances and British, Commonwealth, European, do you know what I mean? You, you don't have them titles for no reason. Mm. One final one. Just tell us how it's going to go, Mark. I'll be going home on Saturday morning with my new belt. And the new, huh? Yep. Good luck. Thank you.